All right, what's going on guys? So in the last video we used dehash, uh, difference hash to try to find similar images. Unfortunately, we were not able to find any similar images. So now we're going to use something called hamming distance on top of the dehash to be able to find similar images. So the length of duplicates was zero, uh, so we don't have to run this. This just actually uh, prints out the images. So in this case, we don't have to worry about that. And now I'm going to calculate something called hamming distance. So essentially what the hamming distance is calculating is the difference. So something like zero, 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 and then we'll have something like, so say we, we calculate the gradient intensity of two different images, right? With hashing, it has to be perfectly similar. The gradient intensity would have to be exactly the same for hashing to work because hashing, any little change, you'll get two different hashes. That's how hashing works. But in our case, we might be okay with one or two changes. So within the gradient intensity, if there are one or two uh, differences, we still want to grab those images because there's a high probability that those images will be similar. So with Hamming distance, we're able to calculate that. The Hamming distance, what it does is it calculates the, the difference. So in our case, there's one difference, um, equal, 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 equal. So there'll be one difference out of one, two, three, four, five. So essentially, our Hamming distance should be one, over five, which is a uh, 0.20. So it's essentially finding the difference between uh, two different arrays, um, the percentage or the uh, decimal of difference between two different arrays. In this case, if we allowed a Hamming distance of 0.20, um, we would pull out this image as being a similar image or a duplicate image. So that's what Hamming distance does. It calculates the, the difference, uh, the percentage difference between two different images. So in this case, there's only one difference out of five elements. So if we compare two different arrays of the same size, it does an element element comparison, and we only have uh, one difference out of the uh, total five different elements. And to calculate the Hamming distance, um, SciPy actually has something called SciPy.spatial.distance.hamming. Using this uh, built-in method, we can put in two different images or two different arrays. In this case, I label them as uh, images, but they're supposed to be arrays. Yeah, and they have to be one dimensional arrays. And we get back a score, which is essentially letting you know what percentage, what percentage of difference there is. So the lower there is, the lower the percentage, the higher, the higher percentage of difference. So in our case, we want a low Hamming distance. All right, so let me just run this. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to create a dictionary. So we're not going to use hashing because we want to compare two different arrays. And if we hash those arrays, then we'll get a bunch of uh, nonsensical letters and numbers representing those arrays, and we won't be able to compare them directly. Since the uh, intensity gradients are pretty long arrays, what we're going to do is we're going to store those as the values, and we're going to store the image name as the key. So for image and image list, we get the uh, difference score of image. If image not in dsdict, we have dsdict image equals ds. So the value is going to be now the difference score. And let me just run this. So this, this is the function. And now we're going to run the function. So let me just, uh, image files just filters the image for any 2D images. And this, of course, just runs the, the function above. All right, so I run this. It'll take a little bit. And we should have, of course, no duplicates. Um, let's just check how many keys. It should equal to probably 43. That's how many keys we had. Pictures of, oh, okay, so we have 42. Okay, so now here's another uh, probably confusing uh, syntax. Um, we have to import iterative tools. Now, what we want to do is we want to compare each of the gradient intensities with itself. So we want to compare all the, the gradient values with uh, each other. So we calculated the gradient values of all the images, and now we want to take each of the gradient values and compare them with each other. So the, if we have the first key and we compare with all of the, the rest of the keys, um, say like B, C, D, E, F. So say we compare A with B, C, D, E, F. Um, that will result in, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different checks. So we're going to check the gradient intensity A with the rest of the elements, B, C, D, E, F. Now, the next time we check with B, we're going to end up checking with all the elements. But since we've already checked with A, we want to avoid that. And that's where this uh, iter tool, iter tools combination comes in. It saves us some computation time. It saves us from uh, repetitive checks. So with iter combination, it takes all the combinations of all your elements. In our case, our, all the elements of our dictionary. We can use, uh, we can, I think, throw in any uh, object. In this case, we're using a dictionary. So it takes all the keys and it creates combinations of two. 
and this is the two that represents the combinations of two. So it takes all the keys and it creates combinations of twos and makes sure that they're combinations and not uh, permutations. So there's no repetition. So A and B, but not B and A. For K and I, K1, K2, and iter tool combination. So this creates all the combinations. And what we're going to do is calculate the Hamming distance of each of them. Calculate the Hamming distance of this and this. And if the Hamming distance is less than 0.10, so I've arbitrarily decided 0.10, and if it's less than 0.10, we want to append it as a duplicate. So you can mess around with that 0.10 value. You can try 0 0.15, 0 0.20, but I think 0.10 works really well. In our case, uh, since we're only dealing with 42 images, this should run pretty quickly. So I'm going to run this now, and we get uh, SciPy is not defined. Okay, I guess that's why I had input scipy um, here. All right, so let me just run this. That was pretty quick. Okay, so it's it, uh, it's running it pretty quickly, surprisingly. So now the length of duplicates, 62. I have no idea why I'm getting 62. All right, not sure why I'm getting 62. Let me see. Uh, okay, let me just go back up here. Make sure we ran this. 62 seems kind of high. And the duplicate zero. Okay, we'll get the keys. Let me run this again. 31. Okay. 31. Now let's look at actually we can just uh 0 to 31 should run all the images. So let's just run this and let's take a look. But if we take a look, this is correct. Duplicate original, duplicate original. These are duplicates, these are duplicates, duplicates. So despite the change in size and despite the change in intensity, the brightness, see these, these are all pretty much perfect duplicates so it's it's really accurate um, all duplicates 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 so point 10 seems to be pretty accurate so point 10 and these are all the duplicates because we um, yeah, so file for file names in uh, duplicates 31. This is uh, and we only found 31 duplicates. So this is essentially all the duplicates. So it's 100% accurate in terms of finding similar images. But yeah, so I found all the images, and of course you can, um, if you want to remove, you can go through all the images. We store them as file names, so you can actually just uh, remove them with OS remove. But in this case, I'm not going to remove them because there's still certain things I want to do uh, with them. All right. So yeah, this was a, a pretty um, heavy lesson. Hopefully it was not too bad. We went over difference hashing and hamming distance and I'll upload this to my GitHub. All right, so that's it with this video. Hopefully you find it useful and always leave comments as to what you liked, disliked and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.